Hello everyone, Attack Power here with a Kingdom of Steel match between Homer and Yuri Tanner. Let's dive right in. All right, folks, so the, you should have seen it on my channel by now, but there's a tournament going on in the Kingdom Discord. If you're not in that, you should go check it out. It's really cool. And it's currently like the big tournament. It's called Kingdom of Steel. And uh, right now we have a game between Homer and Tanner. Homer here is on first DFL on Maverick Income. And Tanner is on third Falschmjäger, also on the Maverick Income. And they're here on one of the worst maps in the game, Ilomansi. Uh, so how this, this setup works, player one chooses a map and chooses a division and then player two chooses a division and an income and then player one chooses the income uh, each player has about 15 divisions to choose from they can only use each one once in the tournament it's a single elimination tournament which is why why you see kind of a disparity in strength here first evil being a very strong division third full screen being a pretty weak one so should be interesting to see what we have going on here. We got of course all the spammy stuff from first DFL lights of partisanis and the legionaries all those really strong infantry and stuff, some M8s and things like that, partisans all over the place. BF109 recon coming in here as well, along with some 60 mil mortars from uh, first DFL with from Homer over here. And with for, uh, third Falschmager, we have some LG42s, Falschmagers, obviously they don't really have anything else, some sharpshoots, uh, cannons or L6s, those are like the auto cannon tanks, and then a whole mess of Flammenwerfers and f things coming in here. Uh, Poopshin as well. This map, I hate this map with a glowing hot passion. Uh, I think it's completely unfair. I really, so the side that red's on here that Homer's on, I find to be extremely difficult to win on. Um, now I'm going to say that and Homer's going to manage to win on it, but me personally, I don't remember ever winning from this side of the map. Uh, it's just so hard. If you get pushed out of this forest here, you can no longer control any of these flags here. Like these two flags you lose, even this flag's hard to hold. Um, I think a big thing here is whether these partisans can get really deep, which they are going for. All right, so, so far I haven't seen any partisan damage, but Homer's just going for it. Like he is, he's throwing down smoke. He's just pushing with his legionnaires. I like this. I'm usually one just to go here, but maybe this is the right play. Just pushing into this spot. This flag's incredibly hard to hold for red as well. Notice how much he's taking, it's 1311. Uh, that, that's what I mean by this map being complete garbage. He's taken so much already and it's only 1311. Now, third Falschmjäger suffers from most of its unit being very expensive, and they will have... These Falschmjägers should not be fighting in the woods here against these sappers. It's going to be an absolute wrecking. I'm not sure what Tanner's going for. These partisans did push through, though, so that's definitely very dangerous. Yeah, run, Falschmjägers, run. Holy crap. Run like there's no tomorrow. Now, these are just artilleries. There's just, like, ten-man, like, junk infantry. Blomenwerf are throwing down smoke to try to cover off this guy's, their retreat, I assume. Triple star on these, so nice. Because they come in, like, naturally double starred, so. Char up here, hitting that full Schmager. Tanner has not noticed yet, unfortunately, for him. 14-10 for Omer, though. Though he could easily get pushed out of this position here. Obviously, uh, Tanner doesn't know how little there actually is here. That BF-109, though, should give him the information. Of course, the spot to... Uh, over any of these false makers run into like start fighting first, which is kind of hilarious Kind of hilarious and unfortunate false Jaeger up north finally pinned down. Oh And here we go false Jaeger's now doing what they do. Oh in range of the uh, the uh, TNT there here Comes that BF 109. Let's see if he knows the 60 mil mortar so incredibly good in those remaining divisions and so incredibly good here But using it as smoke to try to push his strong infantry close to these false Jaegers LG 42 in now though Will that heat round hit? Eee! No, missed the first shot and every shot gets a little harder because it's gonna get stressed from the M10 shooting it But it does get off that second shot. I think before the M10 really stressed it out You're gonna be off target again. Oh, I don't think it's gonna do it Flak 40, 36, not enough to start that martyr, but here comes a BF-109. G6, R6, LG-42 dead already, though, so that bomber kind of a waste. Not that it matters, but, yeah. This Panzer L6 could definitely, I mean, the, the, you have the parts on here, but it's just a Panzerfaust. I am surprised Tanner hasn't pushed up here at all. BF-109 does take out the Marauder. That's a big loss for Homer. A lot of points there. Whoa. Meeting of the elite infantry, but so far it's favored the French pretty heavily. Now we have a spam of Opusier M8s here, uh, which are basically just HE tanks. 
M10 did survive that fight with the LG42, and here comes the 60 mils. Wow. Homer making some great progress. Look how far he's got to push, though, for this flag. It's ridiculous. But I'm not going to lie. Tanner responding a bit anemically. Drawing that Spitfire over top of the Flak 36. This is the deepest I've really seen anyone get on here. So finally, there's some Flammenwerfers in here. I, I would think now, there we go. He's now going to push. He should be able to capture that flag back. He has captured this one. Uh, unfortunately, the Ibisia has an only HE, so he doesn't have to worry about that. The F-109, though, might go down here just to 50 cals. He's got to be careful. That Flak 36 unable to take out that Spitfire because of its really high agility. Remember, agility affects the ability to dodge AA. It has nothing to do with the turning radius of the tank, which is stupid, I agree. Comes those 60 mils just pinning down. No, more smoke. Look at all the smoke usage. My goodness. Smoke drives me nuts. I don't use it enough. That's why I hate it. All right, so we finally see the 81 mil mortar taking some shots. If you can kill that leader, that'd be huge. Let's pin it down. Probably going to come up short of killing it, though. Nice timing there on that, though, because that was a moving target. Those are always hard to time. Vulture is pinned down by the M had the uh, half track here. L6 popping around. Hoopshin in a kind of a bad spot. I guess he was expecting him to keep pushing across. Fulcher Jaeger needs to like do something here. BF109 G6 R6 coming in for that leader. Oh, and he does kill it off. Very nice. But the Ibisir is coming in here. There's there's a Stug. I was gonna say there's gotta be something out of Tanner here. The French dominating right now, and if you're enjoying this French domination, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more Steel Division 2 content. If you love the channel, check out that Patreon link down below. Bolschmeggers are going to lose, especially when they're bunched up like this, both getting suppressed. Oh no, Tanner, you're making some mistakes here, buddy. I do know that Tanner's a bit out of practice. I know he has not been playing as much lately, so this... This is not extremely shocking, although it's very impressive from Homer, because like I said, I, I told you. I'm, uh, the, that Homer was going to win because I said that side of the map sucks. Hoopshin trying to do what it does and not be poop. No! Why didn't you shoot? Oh my god, frustration. It's frustrating to watch. So, I guess, I mean, Tanner brought in double vetted Falschenjäger, so he might only have eight. So you bring in a double vetted card, you only get four. So if he brought in two cards, he would have eight. And based on the way he's been playing with them, I have a feeling that's all he's got is eight Fulshermakers here in A phase, which is incredibly ballsy. Especially as a Maverick deck. Like, what, like what did he expect to do on this map? It's not like he doesn't know the map. There's some Fulsham Pioneers. All right, finally. It's not great, but it's something. Now, the Stug 3, well, if it can see them, it probably can't. I don't know if it's going to be able to see these Obasiers. Oh, my goodness gracious. L6 going after this Obasier. It's forcing it back. M8, though, can definitely deal with that. He needs some AT down here. Where's this L6 going? It's just going here. Whole bunch of Fulsham pan, uh, Pioneers coming in. I, why didn't he call these in earlier? It's like he's just bringing them in now, like he just noticed he has them. Very odd. Homer at a 13-11, though. Again, map is crap. This map is absolute garbage. I mean, Homer's winning because Homer's out playing Tanner. But, like, Homer should be absolutely decimating Tanner. And he's got a 13-11. That's absurd. Absolutely ridiculous. This map is garbage. Like this, and a lot of times there's maps that are garbage because the flags are badly placed. This one, the flags are badly placed and the map is crap. Because you just have such a disadvantage terrain wise. I mean, I know Homer's overcome this by like just sp like spamming forward, like rushing ahead, but it doesn't change the fact that it's total crap. LG42 trying to save this Flammenwerfer, but the, Fl the Legionnaire decides to get up close to the Flammenwerfer instead. It's pinned anyway. Back to a 16-8 now for Homer. L6 does go down. Well, the first one did go down. And now he's just got some SPWs chilling out. These call-ins are, are really confusing me. Panzer Shrek should be able to take that out. The thing is, Homer's huge push is very thin. Like, these are just a couple of armor. Now, he's got more coming in here, so it's not like he's leaving it out to dry. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not much. Where are these guys going now? Okay, yeah, they can definitely do that. Attack beacon going after the 60 mils. Makes sense. Flammerfer probably going to go down here unless he retreats it immediately. He is not, so it's probably dead. There it goes. Now, 
now the half tracks auto car, I mean the auto cars and the L6 is moving in. More Legionati's coming in though. Those can definitely deal with any of this stuff. This Poopchin's still in just like a stupid spot. Don't understand. Actually, like I guess he has auto cover on or something, which seems shocking from a player like Tanner. I mean, I use auto cover too, but I use it knowing I'm bad. I'm not. I'm just kidding. But it's back to a 12-12. This is insane. How is he at a 12-12? Look at how much ground Homer's grabbed. Please, Eugen, fix this map. I beg you. I don't know if it can be fixed, but at least better flag placement. Oh, Panzer Shrek goes down. That sucks. All right. So if this thing comes around a corner, the Poopshin might be able to do something. Oh, it's in range of this L6. Oh, that's a bar. Is this 1250 on this thing? Yeah, look at that. I really thought about it. That LBC is still alive after taking facefuls of auto cannon fire. He's making a run for it. He's just gonna try to get after that M8. E one down though. There goes half the firepower. The F109 trying to help the cause. Can he get off another burst? Will he stop the shot? He does! Woo! -hoo -hoo. And it goes down! There you go! L6 burning through its AP rounds. Back to a 68. It's like 12 12, 16 8. 12, 12. I've never seen it like cop so extremely. Stuke 3 alive and doing what? Oh, this is a swamp. You can't drive through it. I wouldn't even know that because no one ever fights on this part of the map. HS129 finally takes down that Obusier. Spitfire trying to punish him for it. BF109 G8, though, getting on the back. It's not going to do much damage because it's got. Oh! Oh! BF-109 trying, does get on the back. Better BF-109 finally takes out that Spitfire, so that's down. 37 mil, though, is going to take out that L6 because just out of range. I don't know if Homer meant to do that, but it's perfectly distanced. Still 16-8, nine minutes left here. Homer taking advantage of a lot of his tools here. Another M10 versus LG-42 matchup, and the uh, M10 is going to win it again. LG-42 is really not meant for anti-tank roles. I mean, they have a good heat shell, but they got a hit, and that's that's asking a lot a lot of times. Falsham, yeah, you're getting hit here, Tanner, not noticing. Yeah, I got to say, honestly, just things seeming a little slow here from Tanner. Falsham Pioneer's coming in, though. We're now into B phase, though, so both players can be pouring things in, and here comes the Bofors 40 mil. Going to finally shut down this airplay from Tanner. The uh, 37 mil did go down, and another one's already coming. Yeah, I, I I see it there. He sees it there. Take that out. And it's, well, no, I was about to say it's a 1410, but not now. We have 109. The nice thing, I mean, it's revealing just because, of course, it is recon. But on top of that, then, it's revealing from the machine gun fire from the 50 cals. Always like an awkward thing. Flamme River going after that 37 mil. I like this aggression. Oh, no, but the overseers are right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, the Legion already see it too. It's gonna get melted. Oof. Hard to watch. So he wants to cover these Falsham Pioneers coming in. SPW does spot this dude again. He's gonna get some side shots here. That's nice. That's very nice. Finally gets the front armor on, but it already took a good bit of damage from this SPW. M10 moving forward to kill that. 17-7 still. I mean, Tanner still has plenty of chance to get back in this. No, don't stack them with your other infantry, dude. Now when this Legionati throws his grenade, it's going to kill them both. Oh, gosh. No. All right, artillery helping out these Falsham Pioneers. Not that they really need it. Tanner taking back some ground, but not the ground he needs. Poopshin here going to get killed by these Legionnaires. I mean, credit to Homer pushing out of this crap side here. Just really aggressive. I mean, this is what you got to do at first DFL. There's no question about it. It is not a long deck. Uh, it's not a division that goes long very well. Now that Chulks are in, these guys will wipe the Falschermakers out. Yeah, this is kind of an... Uh, I get why you pick third Falschermaker. It does have some good long-range assets, but there's also a lot of like forests on this map that you need to control. There's open ground in between. It's just like patches of forest everywhere, like 
forest patch. Forest patch. 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 With these big open grounds between them. Like, no way to maneuver between them without crossing some massive open ground. And now we see the M105, and that's way out of range. <laughs> I don't know why I was imagining this thing having, like, an absurdly massive range. I hate these things so much. They're so good. They're so, 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 so good. I would put it in one of my best weapons of the game category. Homer still on the 68. Char does go down to the mortar, though. That's, that's a nice kill. FS Fear, for some reason, is doing... No, please. Good lord, stop. Oh, god. Oh, 81 getting caught up by the Char and 5A1s. The stewards, they're stewards. The Sphere has, has nothing. I, I don't understand. What, oh, 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 Tanner, what are you doing? Tanner seeming really off his game. These are not mistakes I would expect from him. And we, uh, you know, now we have the big long tom, right? Is that what they got back here? Yeah, the Ubisoft 155. It's a long tom, basically. Right, same stats too. No, you're not. No, it's long tom. I can see it, it says long tom. <laughs> it says it right on there. Okay, so this thing's gonna try to sneak up for what I'm not sure. And the char, the stewards just pushing forward, living their best life. Here comes the martyr, marauder. Excuse me, not martyr, marauder. 40 mil though. Will it stop it? The F-19 was never going to stop it from bombing, but it tried, has to try to kill it, but now it's not going to even do that because another 40 mil here. Wiping those out. Those marauders, so strong. 105 howitzer does go down to the Fulsion Pioneers, though. That's a nice kill, but need to stop now that they're poking their head out, getting shot by armor. Tanner, go. Oof. Bro, come on. All right, Stug 3 down here, catching out these Stuarts. Should fill them off, finish them off in short order. Checks out a Legionnaire in the transport, so not too bad there. Huge blob of infantry, though. I'm not sure how he plans to get through those. You need... Double Falchmere could beat this for sure, for, at range. Single, though, probably not. More to trying to hit these 40 mils so the Air Force can get back in action. BF-109 sucking up ammo. It's a hobo special. Playing in a hobo tango tournament, so you know you gotta use the hobo special a little bit. Waste your opponent's AA ammo. Classic. Classic! Man, there's not much here. He could definitely push back. He must know that, too. I mean, he's got this BF-109 flying around. He's definitely seen things. It's not like he has no information. I know a lot of times we say, like, oh, how could the player know? I mean, he's he's been doing a lot of flyovers at this recon, so he must have some idea of what's going on. Oh, no, 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 no. He's walking his pioneer into the... <laughs> oh, no, this one's going to pin him. Oh, no, no, no. Tanner, no, you had it. If you waited three seconds. Now he's going to unpin first and surrender this Fulcrum Pioneer. Oh, now the Marauder coming in. Gonna delete this forest. There's a sniper on top of this 40 mil, so it should kill that. That's good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! That was hard to watch. What? Is this a new Stug? No, okay, this is a Stug from over there. Okay, Stug's back. Stug life. Pulse program, no AT, so these M10s will be able to kill them easily. The uh, Junkie Jaegers are now, and these are not Fulcrum Jaegers. Luftwaffe Jaegers or whatever they're, I forget what the LW, it should be Luftwaffe, but I don't know really now. I'm going to say that and people are going to hop into the comments and be like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, tell me what it is. I think it's Luftwaffe Jaeger. I'm pretty confident about it, but I'm not 100% sure. All right. If he kills these two units, this should crack back, and he should get back to a 14-10 at least, but he's only got two minutes left at this 15-9. Finally, an LG-42 kills an M10. Good lord, that was a struggle. But do you see how he can so easily just cap this flag? Now, when this bomber kills... Oh, no, it's going after the LG-42. It's not going after the infantry. So he will hold on to this. Homer looking a little thin on the front here, actually. M10, though, is probably going to beat this Stug unless it was already hit at some point. It was not. Oh, it missed! Woo! Oh, but the Stug missed too! <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
Isn't that it's just like your moment of excitement? You like got the lucky miss and then your guy misses too. And you're just like, no, why? Oh, unfortunately, there was enough time for another 57 mil to come in. Stug misses again. Tanner not catching any breaks here on some of these shots for sure. And he decides to, what in the heck is he doing? Oh, good God, stop. 14 to, uh, no. <laughs> 49. Actually, this range, the 57 will struggle a bit. Well, especially if it never hits. <laughs> It'll really struggle then. Yeah, we'll struggle to pen the Stug at this range. This is near its maximum. And of course, the Stug HE will take about one man every time. Vulture Mager's still holding this. The Char can't see it uh, as long as that artillery, Atelier's are like, can't see them. So it's possible he'll get a Panzerfaust on this thing. 15-9, that Char comes up and cheeky grabs that flag here. Move, Tanner, move, move, move. No! <laughs> you could have killed this so easy. Oh, 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 oh the Stug died too. Oh, oh, oh man. I'm not going to lie, it's been a tough one to watch. Tanner going down here for sure, though. I, I cannot see any way he does not lose this. Uh, Homer decided to bring in some recon just to see the sad state of affairs over here on Tanner's side. Oh my goodness, a Stu for well, I was a Stu 42. Okay, that makes more sense. There we go. Stug finally kills him. My goodness gracious. If he killed this Char, he would have held this flag just fine. Oh man, that hurt. That hurts so much to watch. 105, though, is going to absolutely tear apart these infantry in the open. And there you go. So, quite a great performance here by Homer. Uh, 1950 to 1645, rough game for Tanner. A lot of micro misses, a lot of just odd decision making, at least from my opinion, uh, for things to call in and stuff. Um, but yeah, Homer playing from the rough side of that map and, and pushing out of it really nicely. I really got to say, that BF109 did a lot of work, though. The G6 R6 uh, did a lot of work. Stug 3 did some nice work, too. The Stug 3s did great. I don't know why he waited so long to call them in. Um, he like like refused to call in anything but Panzer L6s for the beginning of the game while he was getting run over by like Obasirs and M10s and stuff like Stug could have fought those things so just some odd sequencing of reinforcements from Tanner and then a lot of micro mistakes and misses nah that happens to all of us so you know that one's not like oh but you know it's just one of those things when, when good players like Tanner are playing at their best that doesn't usually happen so if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider checking out the Patreon down below for more Steel Division 2 fun. Thanks a bunch, guys, and have a fantastic day.